Hey Leo, this is your daily read for July 26th. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Alright, Spirit, what do you have for my Leo babies for today? Sorry, I hit the camera thingy. There. I have the Seven of Cups. There could be some kind of emotional confusion. We also have the Two of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. One more, please, Spirit. And the Death card. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Bottom deck energy is the Four of Swords. You're feeling resigned. You're trying to see what's going to happen. Um, you could be... Uh, with the Seven of Cups, it's a sense of feeling confused with your emotional uh, status. I feel like that there was something brought to you with the Two of Swords here. You're having to make a decision. You're trying to use your mind. Your heart is conflicted. Um, we also have the Eight of Pentacles. You're trying to decide if you even want to put work into a certain situation. Um... Keep in mind when I say love, this is your heart's desire. This is your heart's content. So you could be confused about a job, about whatever decision you have to make in your life. This does not have to be about love. Just take it how it resonates for you. But there is a situation that you're confused on when it comes to your emotions. And you're having to um, use your intuition in order to make a solid decision. We do have the Eight of Pentacles where you are... Wanting to put the work into something. Um, we also have the Knight of Cups. So you could be possibly opening up to this possibility of working on something again. But you don't want to go full-fledged into it. It's like, I'll, I'll give a little bit and let me see where it goes. Instead of, like, making long-term plans, it's like, okay, let's try this out for a week. And then we'll see what happens because we go through these vicious cycles and I don't want to go through it. We go through vicious cycles. One minute you're there, next minute you're not. You know, the only thing you're giving me solid, you know, frame of mind on is that you're wishy-washy. And that you're going to just leave me hanging. You know, like, you're wanting to take baby steps towards something. If you're going to put the work into it, that is your stipulation. We also have the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is you being a bit defensive. And this very well could could be you you could be dealing with the an energy that is very in and out has been very inconsistent and all of a sudden they pop in and they're like hey i'm consistent now uh take me as i am and they and you're just like wait what do you not realize what you put me through do you not realize what you've done do you not realize whatever and it's the same behavior over and over again no consistency at all but i'm supposed to trust it now and so it's like you want to take one step at a time, but I and and you're kind of on defense about it. But what I am going to tell you is that if you're going to give it a, a connection, a new chance, then that's exactly what you have to do, Leo. And as much as I hate to say it, because I can totally uh, understand where you're at, I'm also a firm believer that if you're going to give something a fair chance, then you have to give it a fair chance. And if you're going to move forward with a certain situation, then you need to trust it entirely and not hold the past against it or over its head. And this could be the hardest thing. And this is why the death card came up. I feel like that there's a frame of mind or a, a point of view that you need to kill in order to have a rebirth with this connection. I feel like that there's somebody that is coming back um, towards you that has been extremely inconsistent but they are on the right foot now and they are trying to make things right they are trying to make things good you may not feel it and you can have your insecurities but if you're going to have insecurities one of the things um, that's hard for you to do is to admit something so when you're in the talk of negotiations you need to let it be known hey i'm going to give this a chance but i'm also going to be human and i need reassurance and i mean deep reassurance and it's not going to be like that all the time but until i'm actually secure and i understand that this is going to be consistent and this is going to be here like forever 
then you may have to deal with my insecurities and, you know, give me reassurance when I need it. So with the Four of Swords, I do feel like you're putting your swords down. You're resigning to a certain situation. You are saying, okay, um, what's going to be is going to be. And you are trusting the process. You're trying to trust the process of something. You're like, I'm tired of being guarded. I'm tired of fighting. I want to give in to this. It's just that you want to be protected at the same time. And you want to know that the people around you are going to have your back. You want to know that you can lay down and people are going to have, have your back. You want to know that you can walk out of the room and that one person who has your back is going to defend you even when you're not in the room. You want to know that this person has your back entirely across the board, whether you're present next to them or whether you're out of the room doing something else. You want to, you want to feel that kind of security that you can actually, huh, go to sleep, you know, um, you can actually go to sleep and trust that this person is going to be looking out for you. What energies are around my Leo babies? We have Pisces. We have air, which would be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Virgo. We have Scorpio. Bottom deck energy is fire, which would be Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. So that's what I have for you today, Leo. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.